And good morning. I'm Jack Minish with NBC2's Trash or Treasure. Well, this morning we have three nice early collectible banks for you. And I'm going to go ahead and start right here with this one. Now, right here on the front, we'll have Bob get a nice tight shot right here. You'll see that it, there's a GE logo right there, General Electric logo. Now, this was an advertising piece that was produced for them uh, by the Hubley or Hubley Toy Company from 1930 to 1936. And it was an advertising piece uh, that uh, went to children, but it was to promote their monitor refrigerator. Now, this unit here on the top is called a monitor. And these particular coils that were on top of here are now in the back of the refrigerator back there, but this is called a monitor refrigerator. Now, the full-size monitor refrigerator was made between uh, 1927 and 1936, I believe, and it sold for $300 back then, and it was considered the first affordable refrigerant system, So, and it was electric. Okay, now, so what's our little monitor bank worth? It's cast iron, number one. Let me go ahead and show you the mail slot right back here. And Bob, can you get that for us too? There you go, right there. So there's the mail slot. You just drop it right in there. And again, I said it's cast iron. It has, uh, uh, what, half of its original paint there? So this to a collector is going to be, let's say, someplace between $50 and $75. Now, let's move on over to this one. This one is a uh, letterbox or a mailbox, which may be, unfortunately, extinct before too long. This was made uh, in the 1940s and 50s. And let's see. How this one works, by the way, is right here on the mail slot, you just put that open like that, drop your coin in, and then you just shut it back. Now, also, interestingly enough, this one, see this little slot right back here on the back, right there? Okay, that means that you could put a nail on the wall and the child could actually hang it on his wall and deposit his money in there. And remember, these old cast iron toys had slotted screws in the back, so when you see a slotted screw, pretty much an indication that it's an, uh, an older bank. Now remember that people will sometimes replace those or their reproductions have the uh, Phillips head screw. So those are not the real ones. So this one, like I say, 1940s, 1950s, also it's cast iron. Now both of these banks, by the way, are considered still banks, S-T-I-L-L. -L. That's still meaning there are no movil, moving parts except for this one right here, but they're not mechanical, so they can, they're considered still banks. Uh, price on this little mailbox right here, eh, you'll probably find it in an antique shop, it's like $25, $35 someplace in there. This one, um, this is actually uh, a barrel, and let me show you the mail slot on this right here. There it is right there. And this is by the Sears Roebuck Company, and this is their cross-country motor oil, and this is supposed to be a barrel of motor oil that you could actually buy. And if you bought the barrel of, mo of motor oil, then you would save a barrel of money by buying the whole barrel. So that's how they were trying to market this. And then this was an advertising piece also. Uh, probably from the 1930s, 40s, 50s, someplace in there. They were around for a while. Again, it's a 10 litho barrel. And it's going to be worth, let's say, someplace between eh, probably $25, $30. Not really expensive, but collectibles. And banks are still doing well today. And the mechanical banks, especially the really old ones, are big money. And by the way, all three of these banks are on loan from the Sanibel Historical Museum, where they have a lot of great things. That museum is open from November 1st through August the 15th. I'm Jack Minish with NBC2's Trash or Treasure. We'll see you again next week.